Yeah, whatever. Hey, what's happening, guys? This is the 2021 Learn Electronics Holiday Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever I'm leaving out, gift guide. If you got somebody in your circle of family or friends who is a having some fun with electronics but you don't know what to get them or if you've got a child who is looking for electronics as a career or you want to get your spouse something nice hopefully you can find something in here we've got things um, less than ten dollars I think our most expensive thing is about three hundred and fifty dollars this is by no means any way comprehensive it is just a guide to help you find some things for somebody you know, who in the electronics and you want to get them a present. Uh, the links are down below in the description. Yes, they point back to my Amazon store. Yes, I will make a little bit of money out of this if you buy some of those things. I know a lot of you don't believe it, but this is a business and uh, we're here to not only educate you, but to stay in business so we can keep educating you. So yeah, are you going to hurt my feelings if you take my ideas and buy them somewhere else? Yes, and you won't be welcome back. I'm just kidding. I don't care. Buy them anywhere you want. But if you want to buy them from Amazon, I thank you very much because they're going to kick me back a little bit. Friends helping friends. That's what I say. All right. On with the gift guide. All right. So our first item up is a simple soldering station. This is the uh, T12. It's the KSGR type soldering station that I use. And I looked around to find a good price for it for you guys. And you can see here, it is $34.49 from Amazon um, they'll have it in here the first of December even though they don't have them right now so that's a pretty good price these things generally sell for 75 to 95 dollars of course you know when you're buying these randomly unknown uh, manufacturers there could be some quality issues but I've been using one of these for over two years now and they're great as far as I'm concerned all right Next up, you're going to probably need some solder. The solder that I generally use is MG Chemicals. Not this. One moment. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong one, and that's a good lesson here. This is the one I recommend. This is the 6040 Rosin Core Leaded Solder. I like this a lot. It's 23 gauge, 0.025. Nice and skinny for this, and you definitely want the 60 40 blend that's 60 of uh, 10 40 percent lead this melts nice it flows nice some of the other stuff they have um, like the 67 37 it's it's a different mix it just doesn't work out that well for electronics so this is 20 bucks and a half pound spool of this unless you're hardcore soldering every day all day it's gonna last you a good year or so so we also need soldering tools. I know, I shudder when I look at these too because to me, these say dental tools. But they're not. They are stainless steel micro precision probe set. You know, for 12 bucks, you get all you need in there to different shapes to get in there and pick around a little bit, right? Right. All right, let's get off soldering for a while and talk about something else. Everybody's starting out in electronics. <laughs> the first most important tool you're going to have, other than your brain, is the uh, multimeter. This is a great beginner's multimeter. The Anang AN 8008. It's true RMS, uh, 10,000 count basically. It, I found it to be very accurate, very nice. It is on the cheaper end. It's not recommended for anything other than a little bench experimentation work, but this is a great one. I've done videos on it. You can search my channel and find videos on this. No problem at all. Next up, jumper wires. You can never have enough jumper wires when you're playing around with electronics. And you know what, for uh, $5.50, make a good stocking stuffer for the electronics lover in your life. Now, if you want to take it up a notch, you like the person a little bit more. And again, this is just for a beginner. This next one particular is just for a beginner. Is the Finnercy 
1013D. Now, don't worry if you can't find it with the Finerci name on it. There's also one that say Leap Book and stuff like that. They're all the same. They're all manufactured in the same place. They just have different stickers on them. But here's a good price. Uh, $136. Get somebody a two-channel touchscreen, 100 megahertz, more or less, oscilloscope. I know if I was starting out, I'd be super psyched to get one of them. You're also going to need good screwdrivers. And uh, the iFixit brand screwdrivers, I have come to find out, are superior quality. So $35 set, you know, that gets you just about anything that you could imagine. All right. Let's go back to solder for just one minute because uh, flux is so important. I like the Kester flux pens just because they're not sloppy. You can just get a little bit out and put it where you need it. But uh, some sort of uh, flux is always good. Next up is a really nice breadboard. Those cheap Chinese ones where you get, you know, five of them for eight dollars they're okay but a good quality breadboard will really change somebody's uh, experiences with electronics let's see except most electronic components except yours 0.01 holes so that's too small to read but I'll put a link to it down below like I said a good quality breadboard also if you're getting them the soldering stuff and you're getting them a oscilloscope how about a nice little kit to make their own function generator for ten dollars and again you know there's gonna be links to all these down below in uh, full disclosure those links are to my Amazon store and I will make a couple bucks if you buy one of these so you're helping the channel out too not a bad thing right all right, these next ones are going to be a little bit more expensive, and they're for more of the advanced hobbyists. So this first one is the portable Tiny SA Spectrum Analyzer, which is good from 100 kilohertz to 960 megahertz. It's $85. Is this going to get you the same amount of resolution and clarity as a $1,000 plus Spectrum Analyzer? Probably not. But it'll get you started in the game. And when you're ready to move up to something like that, you'll be a lot more, what's the word I'm looking for? Comfortable operating one. Next up, we have a DC electronic load tester. What this does is it allows you to put a load of whatever current you want. I mean, it, it does more than that. It does constant courage, constant voltage, constant resistance, constant power. It allows you to load your circuit up in whichever way you want to see how it will perform under different conditions. $265, but, you know, if you're making stuff for a living as a, as a side hustle or something like that, you definitely want to test out your circuits beforehand. And you're always going to need a bench top power supply. This is the one I use in all my videos, and I'll tell you what I like about it. Number one, <laughs> can I point to, let me see if I can get to this here. Okay. We have the on off switch that turns the outputs on off. We also have this voltage and current switch, and it allows you to set the current and the voltage independently. Like I've had other power supplies where you had to short the outputs together to set the current. I mean that works but this is much more dignified it also has memories which allow you to store a bunch of settings that you use all the time I use this this is great it's not that bad at $70 and finally I have a more expensive oscilloscope this is the one you saw me do recently this is the Hantec DSO 2D 15 150 megahertz it's got a built-in signal generator if you've got somebody who's maybe a little bit more advanced into their electronics uh, career or hobby or, you know, if you've got a teenager who knows, I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. The man, you get him something like this, and, and you're really, you're really going to open up their eyes. So, that is my holiday gift guide for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope maybe it helped you find something for a friend, a child, a spouse, you know, whatever. I hope it helped. All right. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. 
That's it. I'm out. Peace.